the 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 seems to snap a little bit there. I might go in and I might let me see if I I could take the um this heel roll off. I'll take it off. I'll take it I'll take it off here. And I can get rid of these these keyframes. So you know I'm just so that, 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 that needs to go down a little bit. And then this, and this one I've got the bowl rule. I'm going to pull this, yeah, I'll leave it on. And then that's it. Boom. So like that. What does that look like? Full speed. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. Um, so yeah, you've got this. Still don't like that actually. Um, it's just that transition from this to this feels a bit feels a bit weird. I have to pull this back a bit. Anyway, you know, you end up having to noodle stuff quite a lot. Maybe that's a bit better. And of course, with this, I also. You know, make sure this is even further forward, just a little bit more. This feels like it can go further forward. Let's see, so like that. So let's see. So you go that. But that, look, you see, you don't, you don't want to jump like this. And I'm going to pull this up. So if you do have a, if you do have a, a, a transition over a frame, you want it to be a short distance. You, you don't want some major bump or you're going to leave you need to leave at least two frames to get a a decent look to it okay so if i let's say i i don't know so like i said we've just done one foot here but i can if i think this foot's working good enough for rock and roll as they say if i think it's working good enough for that i could take this now and go to back to 13 frames and we select all these copy I made some changes to this. I'm going to go to this one, and I'm just going to get rid of this, and then go to the start again and go paste. So I'll paste them back in, and I'm going to make sure the curves pre-infinity are cycling and the curves post-infinity are cycling. And I'm going to go into the orthographic front view, and I mean I can. I could do this with an equation, but I'm just going to move this foot in a bit so the feet are more underneath. Okay, so, and then I'm going to take this foot that's still selected. I'll take all the controllers, they're here. I can just select them all. And I'm going to shift this to frame number seven. Okay, and there we go. So then we have this, which is a little bit better than what I had before. Ah, again, we're doing the 13. If if you find you want to have a look and see what it looks like, just go to frame 12 and run a Windows Play Blast to have an idea of what the animation is actually you know, looping like. Anyway, so there we got this. Right, up and down, up and down. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some alterations to the translation. I'm, I'm wondering if this is out far enough. I would think this body could still be a bit higher off the ground, so I might go into this again. And I have to go to the same equivalent point here. I'm just going to raise him up a bit. So there's a bit more of a drop. Okay, so we're going to have, so you're kind of, so it's like that, and then that, up and down. And then I almost kind of want it to go down further here, almost. Oh, there we go. For the jump up. So, yeah, you have to play around with this. So you you know you play around with it and you'll find something you think is working, yeah. So 
Ah, and I must remember, of course, to save the scene. Very important. Um, so I'll call it Monty Run. Monty Run. Oops. Run. V O one. Right. Okay. So we've got Monty Run, and we've got it going like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alter the speed of the foot in the ground. Remember, it's very important that from here to where the foot leaves the ground, which is actually here, is straight. So I'm going to get rid of this key. I'll break the tangents here. And I'm going to make this one straight. And then I'll break the tangents here. I'll make this one straight. Not the one coming out of it, just the two there. I'm going to do the same thing for this foot. Of course, I could have done it before I cut and pasted it, but there you go. Make this straight. Go to this, break the tangents, make this straight. Okay, so, and just make sure that this is, uh, I'm going to make sure this is, yeah, so we've got curves. So, it's, so there, the feet are going at the same speed, are going at, um, sorry, at a constant speed. Right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with a rotation of Monty's feet. So um, when his feet come down, I will. I'm gonna twist them slightly this way in the Y. So I'm gonna go to the Y, which has some keys on it, and I'm just gonna twist slightly that way. So he's a flat-footed character and so you've got this and then I'm gonna have the foot like that and maybe I might when the foot comes off the ground when the foot's on the ground it's gonna stay roughly the same orientation you might get a little bit more twist just as it comes off. I mean I could potentially you know just twist it a tad more here just as it's, about, as it's about to come off. Then you've got this kind of twist. And then when it comes past here, past the leg, and make another key, so it's quite elaborate. I'm going to twist the foot in. I'll twist it up like that. And then, so you've got that, that. Oh, yeah, that, that and then it's going to hit the deck it's going to be the same copy I'll go to frame 13 make sure I'm on the full number and I'm going to paste okay so we're going to so that means you end up with this flat footed forward and then down um yeah might draw pull that back a bit so you've got kind of wave going on here. So yeah, so what's happening is the food, if you look down from this side, it's kind of, it's out, it gets further out, what is it, just before it comes up, and it, it kind of comes back again, as it straightens up as it's coming past. Yeah, it kind of straightens up, and then it, it, it goes further out as it um, comes down, as it lands down, yeah, so you got that. And... What I can do, if I like that, is I can do something else. I can, I can actually, you know, we, we've done things where we cut and paste the whole curves from in the timeline, but you can also cut and paste individual curves so you don't have to do them again. So, for example, if I like this curve that I've done for Monty's rotations of the Y in his foot, I can simply select these and I, for, and I can go to Curves and I can, sorry, edit, select them, edit. I go to copy, and then I can go here to the new foot, the rotate Y, make sure I've got the same channel or else it'll just paste it on. And I'll go to frame number seven and I can go edit, paste. And what it will do is it will paste those keys on starting on frame number seven with the offset, but look, there's a problem because of course we have the issue where we have to flip the keys because it's rotating the foot in as opposed to out. So that means I go to rotate Y, 
select the curve, go to the channel box for the Y here. Uh, sorry, for this axis, I said for the Y, I meant for the to flip in the X axis, which is the horizontal axis, and go times equals minus one. And that will flip that. It's interesting that my, there seems to be a lag and then when uh, Monty runs we will have this run where his feet are doing the right thing. Okay, so so far so good. Got him running. Yeah, this could certainly be improved, but we're just gonna Yeah, we're just gonna roll with this as it is just now. So we've got the run, right. Now what we're gonna do next is we're going to this is essentially works as the pelvis. So when the feet are this way in the run, the extension, you know, the the, the extension we we are going to have Monty twisting in this direction, okay? Like so. So we're gonna have that's the rotate Y. We get rid of these keys. And then we're gonna cut and paste this, copy to the last frame, frame 13, paste. Now when Monty is at frame 7, the midpoint, he's going to be rotating in the opposite direction in this axis. And I'll make sure it's the same height. I can see it on this. So one block up, okay? Blan and blan. Looks very strange. Anyway, and then there is also there is also the rotations in the uh, Z axis, okay? So what's gonna happen is kind of similar. I'm just gonna get rid of this. We don't need this. I don't know what this is doing. When Monty is with his foot up, and so when it is like this, Monty's probably gonna be tilting more down towards this side, okay? So that's my rotate Z. I was on the wrong one there. And I'll copy this again, copy and paste this onto the last frame because it's going to be the same. And seven is going to be the opposite, but in the other line. So it's going to be like there. So we've got this going on. Now, there are no hard and fast rules with this. This may be a bit overdone. 